for your soul and for your sanity. Let me pause if I can. I want to ask all the first time visitors, would you stand? All the first time visitors, do you mind standing? I don't want to embarrass you. I want to empower you. Come on, help me thank God. Y'all ain't shouting good enough for me. Would y'all make them feel welcome? Let them know we are not stuck up. Come on. Empowerment, would you stand and embrace somebody who is standing? Let them know how glad we are to have them in the house of God. Uh, amongst all of our visitors, it is my incredible privilege. I want to uh, introduce to you uh, a covenant friend of mine, a covenant brother uh, who's here. He hails uh, from Zimbabwe, lives uh, presently really around the world, but is stationed uh, in uh, England. I met him a few weeks ago uh, in London, was blown away. I was written about, I want you to look him up when church is over, uh, in Forbes magazine as one of the wealthiest wealthiest men on the continent of Africa. You didn't hear what I just said. One of the wealthiest men in the continent of Africa. And the reason why you ought to shout about it is going to blow your mind. One of the wealthiest men on the continent and he's only 35. Uh, y'all, y'all ain't talking back to me. Y'all, y'all some haters. I mean y'all are some haters. I ain't I ain't seen nothing like it. Amen. You know how bad the attack is when you get something in this city. Amen. I said the entire continent of Africa. His mama didn't write the article. I said it's in Forbes. It's in Forbes magazine. He greeted us in uh, our 930 service. I said, ain't no way in the world uh, you're going to come here and not speak to 1130. They're going to kill me uh, if they find out you was here from the 930 who can't keep a secret. So uh, you, you, you got to come and uh, and say something. God uses him in the earth realm uh, globally. Uh, if you'll pull him up on YouTube, some of the biggest meetings there has ever been uh, to see the demonstration of the power of God has been through this young man. Uh, on the other side of it, it makes me feel good. I call somebody else a young man. Uh, they, they, they've been calling me that the whole time. So, uh, so uh, I'm, I'm so grateful. I want him to just come share uh, just a little bit. Uh, however, God sees fit to move and speak uh, through him. But I wanted God to really give an example to you of what God can do. Hallelujah! That God can move you anywhere uh, at any time. Uh, for my dear covenant brother. You ain't never in your life, 99% of us have never met somebody this wealthy. I'm I'm, I'm putting wealth right in with your broke self. I'm trying to get you to hook up. 930 was a lot more receptive. Would you stand to your feet and give God glory for one of the emerging generals of the body of Christ? Pastor, prophet, apostle, Uber angel. Come on, give God some praise for him. Come on, you can do better than that. Clippings for me, clippings for me, clippings for me, clippings for me. No, it's a joke, it's a joke. I appreciate the, I never said sit down. This is why people don't get rich. <laughs> it is an honor to be in this place. And uh, like I told our 930 um, uh, attendees that um, you never want to be in a place where with a man who used to hear from God. You don't want to be in God's pastidence. But in Parliament Temple, you have a man that hears from God. You are in God's present tense. Now, it is an honor to be in this place and to to know uh, Dr. Jamal with his um, uh, mission around the world. And and whenever you see a man that begins to tackle world problems, listen, there are men that God honors. Then there are men that God honors. Now, you see, listen, they are boys of God, then they are men of God. This is a man of God. I thought you would send up on it. 
So to find a man that God really speaks to and puts him in his heart, the things concerning the world, concerning people that he is not related to, not even spiritually, that's now a man God respects. There is a big difference. There is a man who honors God, then there is a man God honors. This man is honored by God. To be given that message to touch the world. When you increase in money, you understand the reality is now you now think about the generations to come. And you think about everybody. Those with no money really don't understand. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Poverty, Poverty is not the absence of resources. It is not the absence of money. It is the absence of imagination. You are poor because you don't think. It is an honor uh, to be to be in this place and to to just be on this platform. We have watched him several times. Me with my church and and I even have a message that I I preached that you preached. Now, I don't want to say who started preaching this thing. I didn't cut you. I just started like it was mine. <laughs> I have to report this because you told them to watch YouTube, you see. They might watch YouTube and see me preaching your message. <laughs> At least I'm born again. I, I, I accept this thing. I accept this thing. I, uh, but I never, I, never, I never acknowledged him in that message. So forgive me when you watch, okay? Forgive me. If we can just sing so that I, I move around and, and, and show you what I do, I, I hear from God a little bit. Uh, we will talk about some, but when I start ministering, whatever I'm going to say to the person I'm going to minister to, that's money coming to you. Listen to me. I am not, I don't believe it's humility to say I am poor when you are rich. I am rich. Look at your jealousy. I thought this is an empowerment temple. You too. So when, when I minister to somebody, it's simply as an example. If I say to somebody, you're going to get money, you got to receive it. I, I, was, I was preaching in London. One person ran towards me and I began to prophesy to them and I told them their address, where they come from, what was going to happen, even what is in their bank account. One person, and they said, I've got a child who is Down syndrome. And one Nigerian who was in another corner ran to the front and said, I, I also have a problem with my child who is Down syndrome and I have a problem of money. I don't have money. And this man in the meantime, was not even doing anything. He wasn't responding. He was just like, hey man. And you know, from Africa, we don't have such a way for between me and poverty in Africa, there is Jesus. Amen. Nothing, nothing more. No money. So you are, you, are, you are forced to think quickly. Do you understand the point? So, the time I said, this one's child was going to be well. Nothing happened. But this other one that I wasn't prophesying to. On the same day, the Down syndrome boy became well up to this day. Now, so I'm just saying, at Empowerment Chamber, let's learn to be thieves for miracles. Thieves of miracles. When I start prophesying, steal the prophets and get it. <laughs> just make it yours. Make it yours. And when you watch also our, uh, like you said, there is a video that we did on miracle money. When I was opposed in, in Botswana for, they put on the front page that he came to take our money. So what I did, I, prof I prayed to God and God said, just go into the crowd. Tell them you're going to receive money in your pocket. So I had to get everybody to empty all their, you know, pockets and bags and all that. Then I decreed it to the people. And we raised at least half a million no, I, no, maybe they didn't get it. I said half a million came from nowhere. So, 
And we will do it one day. We will do it at empowerment temple one day. So we are using ridiculous miracles, but I really want to thank God for giving me this opportunity. Because every, every, everybody needs somebody to push them to another level. So can we just sing? Can we just sing and, and, and let's all remain standing and just, you know, I'm never going to tell you your sin. I'm going to tell you the good things that God wants to give you. The goodness of God turns people to repentance. If you are a sinner, you know you are a sinner. I don't need to remind you. I'm going to remind you about the good things that God is about to do. Come on, lift up that hand. Hallelujah. He's still waiting for you. Come on, lift up that hand. He's still waiting. Don't be far from me. Don't be far from me. I'm God is not moving. He's still waiting on you. He's my God and He can't lie. He's my God and He can't lie. Come on, come on. He's my God and He can't lie. He's my God and He can't lie. Yeah, yeah. Come on, lay hands on yourself, everybody. He's my God. He's my God. He's my God. Yeah, yeah. One more time. He's my God. He's my He's mine. He's my God. And he. Yeah, yeah. I need you to lift up your voice. He's my God. And he can't lie. He's my God. And he can't lie. He's mine. He's my God. And he can't lie. Yeah, yeah. He's mine. the last time he's my God and he can't lie he's my God and he can't lie he's my God and he can't lie he's leaning in my direction hallelujah hallelujah Come close. As I begin to minister to them, just receive wherever you are. I don't know. Did, did, did I tell them about the Nigerian? Just steal the miracle. God is not trying to just bless them. He wants to bless you though. But he's not trying to just bless these. He wants to bless you. But these are here as an example. Can I prophesy? In the realm of the spirit. I see God prospering you. 
No, right there, you see, I can see you're not. I think empowerment temple is here. Because these ones understand how to steal it. God many said to me something. As you stand here, I saw like as it were a black ring that the devil was trying to put on your finger. Do you understand? To the extent, to an extent that even when you get into a relationship, it will be the devil will try to frustrate you no matter how beautiful you are, and you are beautiful. I know she's beautiful. My wife is beautiful too, so I just measured the two. <laughs> so in the realm of the spirit, it is as though the angels were trying to give you something, but the demons were trying to prevent you from getting it there. But God ministered to me because she came today in this service. God is about to do something for you. <laughs> Why? Are, how I saw this? This is it. How I saw it, Doc. This is how I saw it. I saw it as if there is this guy who does what Tybo, Tybo. You know Tybo, Tybo. And I saw something like that. It was something like a DVD. You were going to create with people doing whatever they are doing what do you do you do fitness give jesus a big hand somebody so i saw the dvd going around the world it was going around the world it was like the marketing had opened up because of this service that you are in right now somebody with a business right now something good is about to happen to you so I saw even to do with nutrition, even to do, I see tears are coming, uh, even to do with nutrition, uh, 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 products that you, uh, listen to me, products, wait, products that are going to be all over the world. It is a marketing tool now that is coming into the, onto the surface here. And I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it. The biggest problem I, I saw, uh, how I, I, I missed this thing up. <laughs> Because sometimes God will give you the spelling. And sometimes he just says a sound. For me to confirm what I wanted to confirm. Hmm. This is why I saw a K and God said it's not a K. It's just the way K, K, K. What's your name? Kayla. Kayla. Yeah. Major prophesy. I'm doing the best I can. Can I prophesy? I'll do small, small. Do it. If you're under the influence of this voice right now, under this man of God right now, and you are here, are you seeing me? Are you looking at him? You have just seen your miracle. There is an anointing in this house right now that will not get you to get money, no, but will get the thing that you want to be lowered to your money. No, you didn't get money. Uh, one day, Bishop, I was, I was, I was in a, in a plane. Obviously, in the first class, I needed to, I needed to put that thing in. And, and I'm sitting there and one man walked in with a big bag and he opened the zipper to that bag and he did hundred dollar notes, bunches and bunches and bunches. He opened the zipper and grabbed with two hands and put them on my lap. Started to download on my lap. And he said, you don't know me, but I know you. I said, yeah, but I know this. I don't need to know you. But you see, whenever you travel and people now give you something you never worked for, God is about to even promote things that you don't know right now how you are going to move this thing into. You, 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 you are more like working for somebody. You are more like in a place where you, it's not really you that owns it. It's just like somebody is hiring you. 